Imagine waking up one morning and realizing the sky looks wrong. The sun isn't a golden circle anymore. It's swollen, red, and burning twice as bright. The warmth feels sharper, almost painful. And before you can even blink, every shadow on Earth grows shorter. Because the sun, our quiet life giver, has started to expand. This isn't science fiction. It's what will happen to our star one day. The only difference is timing. But what if it happened now, suddenly, without warning? For four and a half billion years, the sun has been stable. A perfect balance of gravity pulling inward and nuclear fusion pushing outward. That equilibrium keeps it burning smoothly and not exploding, not collapsing. But stars don't stay balanced forever. Over time, hydrogen in their cores runs out. Fusion slows. Gravity starts to win, compressing the core until it heats up again. Then something wild happens. The outer layers expand. The sun becomes a red giant. That process normally takes billions of years. But what if the balance snapped overnight? What if the sun suddenly jumped straight to its red giant phase, right now? At first, the expansion would be invisible. The sun's core would heat thousands of degrees hotter in seconds. Its outer layers would begin to puff outward, and within minutes, the surface area would double. Light would increase dramatically. The sky would shift from blue to white, then to an eerie orange glow. Temperatures across Earth would spike faster than any climate in history could handle. Every plant, every animal, every human, all built for a narrow comfort zone, would start to fail as the heat wave swept around the planet. At 40 degrees Celsius, power grids collapse. At 60, roads melt, metal deforms, and air conditioners stop working. At 80, the human body can't cool itself at all. And the sun would keep growing. Satellites would be the first casualties. Solar panels that once thrived on sunlight would burn under the radiation. GPS, communications, and weather systems would flicker out one by one. The ISS would ignite like paper in orbit. Oceans would begin to boil. First the surface, then deeper layers as heat trapped in the atmosphere reflected back. Water vapor would form dense clouds, trapping even more heat, a runaway greenhouse effect. Within days, rainforests would burn, deserts would fuse into glass, and the last ice in Antarctica would vanish into steam. The sky would turn copper red. Lightning storms of pure plasma would rage across continents. Wind would move faster than hurricanes, driven by the imbalance between boiling oceans and collapsing air pressure. The sound of thunder would merge into a constant planet-wide roar. The Earth would be alive, not with life, but with fury. If you somehow looked up, you'd see a sun now twice its original diameter. Brighter than any human eyes could bear. The moon would vanish in the glare. Shadows would disappear entirely. Day and night would blur into one endless blaze. Within a few weeks, entire cities would crumble under thermal stress. Concrete expands, steel softens, glass shatters from heat differentials. The air becomes thick with smoke, ash, and molten dust. The oceans recede into steam clouds until the planet begins to look like Venus, a boiling atmosphere over a scorched crust. But this isn't just about heat. The sun's gravitational influence would shift as it expanded. Planets would drift outward, their orbits destabilized. Mercury and Venus would be swallowed first. Earth's path might widen slightly, but not enough to escape. Soon the sun's outer edge would reach our orbit. Mountains would vaporize before contact. The crust itself would melt into a sea of magma. Every element of life, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, would dissolve into glowing plasma. From space, Earth would appear to fade like a candle dropped into a fire. Its oceans becoming bright rings of vapor, its surface a brief flash of light, and then nothing. Only dust pulled into the fiery outer shell of a dying star. But the story doesn't end with destruction. As the sun expands, it also sheds mass. That lost mass becomes the material for future worlds, the gas and dust that will one day form new stars, new planets, and maybe new life. 
In a way, our death would feed the next generation of the cosmos. After engulfing Earth, the sun would continue to grow, eventually reaching the orbit of Mars. Then it would begin to shrink. Its outer layers would drift away, glowing as they cooled, forming a planetary nebula, a vast bubble of color spreading across space. At the center of that nebula, the sun would collapse into a white dwarf, a tiny, dense ember of what was once our star. No fusion, no warmth, just a ghostly light shining for trillions of years. For any observers light years away, Earth's end would appear as a slow, silent transformation. A small blue world swallowed by its parent star, its final energy turned into one more flicker of starlight. And maybe, if another civilization saw it happen, they'd point their telescopes toward the fading glow and wonder, what if it happened to them next? Here's the twist. This is not just imagination. The sun will do this in about five billion years. It's written in physics, as inevitable as sunrise. We just won't be here to see it. Still, imagining it reminds us of something humbling. That even the most constant thing in our lives, the sun that rises every morning, is temporary. Everything in the universe burns bright, fades, and changes form. Planets, stars, and galaxies, all part of the same endless cycle. So when you see sunlight hit your face tomorrow, remember, it's not just warmth. It's borrowed time.